I'm Ryan Manson with Classic Truck Performance Magazine and we're working on the 64 Chevy C10 and one of the things that we're doing right now is we're uh, setting up our fuel plumbing situation. We're running some hoses, we're running some hard lines and it's all coming from a Rick's tank. One of the issues that we had with this truck is we wanted to get the tank out of the cab for starters. We knew we wanted to do that but we didn't have stock cross members and stock rear suspension in our truck anymore We've got KP components, basically a rear stub on a four link on coilovers. And there's some things going on that made putting a tank in here, frankly, kind of difficult, but no big deal. Rick's tanks in Texas can make you any tank you want to any specifications. They can put the fittings wherever you want them, mounting flanges, they could build the suit. So I took some measurements and I went home and I drew up a little tank in CAD and I sent them the plans and they built us a tank and as you can see it fits perfectly. It bolts in from the bottom which that way we can access it when the bed's on, the bed floor's in and everything. I didn't want to, you know, we could have dropped it in from the top but then you're stuck with it if you had to take it out for any reason. It comes with a built-in fuel pump which is pretty cool because it keeps the pump cool by staying in the fuel. It's also quieter than like a frame mounted pump and what's neat about this one is it's internally regulated so I don't need to run a return line on this. So I got one line up the truck to the throttle body, well to the fuel rails I should say, to the intake and uh, that's it. No regulators on the frame rail, no filters on the frame rail, it's all right there in one unit so that's really cool. So props to Rick's for doing it that way. Filler is going to be under the bed. Not sure if we're going to do a flip kit or if we're going to put a neck or uh, some kind of cap in the bed. Haven't gotten to that point yet. Obviously the sending unit's in there and then we've got a vent on either side that will run up to a little rollover valve so it doesn't spill out in worst case scenario. It's an all stainless unit. It's also baffled. Pretty cool, pretty nice little tank. Great solution if you need a custom tank. Give Rick's a call. And for more tech videos and cool features, check out ClassicTruckPerformance.com.